It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Hey guys, I am so excited. We've got this great, uh, this great script that we got. It's been an unpublished script. I'm so excited about, about doing this. It, it's about a suicide prevention and it's, it's a really deep drama that I think really gets down deep core of, of what makes us human. You know, it just reminds me of when I was in philosophy class in college just a couple months ago. I just, it really felt and it really kind of hit me right in my heart. And I just feel like it's just everything that we need to kind of explore as human beings. So uh, I'm, I'm so excited to be directing you in this play. And I think it'll actually touch people's lives and really just help people get through some problems. Oh, so. And I am super excited to take the lead role this time again. Um, I just want to say that I will breathe so much life into this character that I'm just going to blow everybody's minds. And I'm just, I really feel this so deeply. Yes. Oh, that's Gertrude. That is so great to hear. Now, if you'll do me a favor, um, we uh, we haven't yet really cast the roles, but I like that you're you're already excited about doing this lead role because it's a complex role. It is somebody that has actually volunteered for suicide prevention, but struggles with her own conflicts internally. So we've got a couple lines that I. I'd like you to like you to try to read and um, just remember this is a a complex human being, okay, and someone who uh, uh, has a lot of care in their heart, but their heart's been broken over and over and over again. Has two cats at home. One is a really f- obese cat. The other one is is a mentally challenged cat. Oh. This is her family. This is all she has of her family. So these are the types of details I want you to th- consider as you're reading these lines. Okay. 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 I'm ready. So you have the script in front of you. Uh, if you could go ahead and, uh, and just read that first line. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this will be the best challenge for any volunteer job I've ever had. Yeah, that was, um, very dramatic. It was very dramatic. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. yeah um, I really felt like I encapsulated every essence of this, this poor woman. Absolutely. I think that in a certain way you did. Let's try it in a, a comedic fashion. Comedic mm-hmm. voice. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this, this will be the greatest challenge of a lifetime to take this volunteer position. <laughs> I think I nailed it. Oh, but, yeah. um, hmm. So, um, outstanding, outstanding. Let's say you're going in for a tax audit. Can you go in, can you deliver this line like you were being audited for taxes? <laughs> this, this will be the greatest challenge. Uh, this just doesn't feel natural to me. I, I've never been audited for my taxes before. I, I just, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I need to draw from your own personal experience. Yes, please. Here's what I would like you to try next. Okay. I would like you to do it if you were in an airplane and the door blew off of the airplane and it was creating a vacuum within the airplane. Can you deliver the line in that way? (sighs) This, this, will be the challenge of my lifetime. This volunteer position. All right, so I'm thinking maybe what we'd like to see is, can you do it in the style of a robot speaking to a completely alien race? Okay, are we talking like Android robot or like non-sentient machine robot here? Can you mix the two? This, this is my beep boop boop beep bop to volunteer this position, beep bop boop. Phenomenal. Thank you. But what I'm thinking is we're lacking a little heart. 
If you can do it in the style of a lumberjack before he chops down his first tree and he remembers back to when his grandmother used to give him milk and cookies and talk to him about the next door neighbor who used to be a serial killer but then got better and used to love to tip the milkman and the milkman used to go to the school and read stories to the young children and the teacher used to have an affair with that milkman. How the, the teacher would tell her husband that she was leaving him for the milkman. Can you do it in that style? I, I, I can't do that. That's, that's way too close to my own life. I just, I live this every day. What's wrong with you? 